Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak. Today is the Feast of St. Stephen, the first martyr. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church in the gratitude of the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the newborn Christ, who has given the glorious crown to Saint Stephen. Come, let us worship the newborn Christ, who has given the glorious crown to Saint Stephen. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the newborn Christ, who has given the glorious crown to Saint Stephen. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us worship the newborn Christ, who has given the glorious crown to Saint Stephen. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Come, let us worship the newborn Christ, who has given the glorious crown to Saint Stephen. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn, as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the newborn Christ, who you have given the glorious crown to Saint Stephen. Forty years I endured that generation, I said. They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the newborn Christ, who has given the glorious crown to Saint Stephen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the newborn Christ, who has given the glorious crown to Saint Stephen. My soul has held fast to you, my God. For your sake, I suffer death by stoning. O God, you are my God. For you, I long. For you, my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as we have a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Stephen saw the heavens open. He saw and entered in. Happy the man to whom the heavens opened. Blessed the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, 
bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and dark, nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priest of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Stephen saw the heavens open. He saw and entered in. Happy the man to whom the heavens opened. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing, and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy, and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord, we pray that we may imitate what we worship and so learn to love even our enemies. For we celebrate the heavenly birthday of a man who knew how to pray even for his persecutors. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A readings from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called Synagogue of Freedmen, Cyrenians, Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen, but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But he filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. 
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock, my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Please stand. Blessed is he who comes in the name of in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has given us light. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues. And you will be led before governors and kings for my sake as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say, for it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. Friends, sisters, and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please visit it. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at salamat sa Diyos at kayo ay nakarating ng matiwasay dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawan. Welcome. The Gospel for this Feast of St. Stephen, kung ating mapapansin ay ibang-iba sa ating binasa at sa ating naramdaman kahapon, Pasko. It differs from what we heard radically yesterday sapagkat napakasaya ng tagpo. Isinilang ang ating uh, tagapaglis, tagapagligtas, ang ating Savior, ang manunubos, ang Mesias. Pero this gospel opens with Jesus telling His disciples, Mag-ingat kayo. Beware. Di ba? Bakit ganon? Bakit tayo ay binibigyan ngayon ng balal, pala, paalala ng ating Panginoon. Why? Beware, be careful. Today, Jesus is warning His disciples noong kapanahon na niya at tayo rin that if they continue to follow Him and be His followers or disciples, they will be handed over to governors and kings. They will also be hated because of the name of Jesus. Pero merong konsolasyon sa katapusan ng ating binasang Ibanghelyo. They remain faithful to Jesus to the end. They will be saved. Yun ang pinakasikreto ng paalalang yun na sinabi ng Panginoon sa kanyang mga disipulo. Pwede natin sigurong imaginein 
pwede nating isipin. Papaano kung halimbawa marinig din natin yun sa ating buhay? Ano kaya ang ating magiging sagot? It is very natural for us human beings to react negatively and say, Teka muna, parang hindi pa yata ako handa to be persecuted for the sake of your name. Di ba? Maiintindihan natin lahat yun. Tayo kung minsan ay naduduwag kapag there are challenges in our life. Kahit hindi po persecution o yung tinatawag na na-experience ni St. Stephen na siya ay binato hanggang siya ay namatay. Kahit hindi po yun. Pero yung mga binabata natin sa buhay, yung ating mga paghihirap, yung ating mga naranasang sakit, pait, discouragement, those are, I think, something that is part and parcel of our being disciples of Christ. Tayo ba ay tatagal hanggang katapusan? Kahit na marami tayong binabata sa buhay, will we remain faithful to Christ? The price for being His disciple is much higher than perhaps we expected it to be. May presyo tayong kailangang bayaran. It all can seem so glorious when we first decide to follow Jesus, di po ba? Masayang masaya tayo kagaya kahapon. Uh, masaya tayo sapagkat Pasko. Pero kung katapos ng Pasko, siyempre, back to reality tayo. Nai-inspire tayo ng Panginoon, pero the Lord never promised us a rose garden. Hindi niya sinabi na tayo ay nasa paraiso na. Hindi. Today, Jesus is warning us that there will be a price to pay to follow Him. And perhaps we need to ask ourselves, what price am I willing to pay? Do I believe in Jesus and His message so completely, 100%, that I will risk losing everything I have worked for? We have to be honest with ourselves. Hindi naman natin pwedeng maloko ang Panginoon sapagkat alam niya ang at nilalaman ng ating kalooban at ng ating puso. Or perhaps even risk losing our lives. Kaya ba nating ialay ang ating puso kagaya ni St. Stephen? The path of following Jesus, brothers and sisters, is both a gift and a cross. And there are abundant gifts and blessings we receive when we walk with the Lord. However, meron ding mga hamon or difficulties that we will encounter kasama yan sa buhay simply because we do follow Jesus. Kasi diba, kapag ka-Kristyano ka, you were baptized as a Christian, as an other Christ, Alam naman natin ang naging buhay ng Panginoon, di ba? Sinilang siya sa sabsaban. Sino ba naman ang ipapanganak sa sabsaban sapagkat walang matutuluyan, sapagkat napakaraming tao noon. Napakasimple ng kanyang buhay, pero at the end, alam natin kung saan siya dadamputin, di ba? Sa Kalbaryo, sa Cruz. So what are we willing to risk? What are we willing to endure? For the sake of Jesus. Jesus will give us the grace and the strength we need. The question is, will we follow him? Let us pray for one another that we will have the love, the courage, and the strength we need to follow him. Especially when life is challenging us just to leave it behind us. Now stand to offer our prayers and petitions. <clears throat> Amidst the joyous occasion or season of the birth of our Savior, the Church reminds us of the cross reflected in the self-sacrifice of Saint Stephen. So let us join him in our prayers for others. Lord of life, Hear us. Ilakas po natin. Lord of life, hear us. In the blood of St. Stephen, we are bringing the joy of the Incarnation, even our everyday trials and persecutions. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord of life, hear us. That the government's leaders may recognize the worth of Jesus by their effort at to promote and respect human life and dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear us. That like St. Stephen, he may be given by the grace and strength to stand firm in faith to the end. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear us. That we may have the joy and confidence amidst in, in the troubles of our, this life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear us. For our Pope, the college of bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear us. For the Master of the Order and his assistants, and for our brothers and ministry at Santo Domingo and our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear us. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear us. Father of glory and power, through the prayers of Saint Stephen, grant the petitions we bring before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Let us pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these offerings of our devotion today be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, for they are prompted by the glorious commemoration of Saint Stephen, the martyr, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sagot po kayo ng malakasa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith to their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out and without end, we acclaim. <clears throat>
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Idelis's Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Stephen, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. I'll stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray.
Bigyano po kami ngayon ng aming kakanis sa araw-araw at patawain mo kami sa Nagkakasala sa amin At huwag mo kami ipahintulos sa gusto At iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer to one another Christ's sign of peace. Sa inyo pong lahat, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. The gates of heaven opened out to blessed Stephen, and he was crowned first of martyrs. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, one of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath his word to our father Abraham, to set, us, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, you my child, child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by, by the, the forgiveness, forgiveness of their, their sins. sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and, and to the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The, the gates, gates of heaven opened out to blessed Stephen, Stephen and, and he was crowned first of martyrs. Let us pray. For the many mercies which surround us, we give thanks to you, O Lord, who save us through the nativity of your Son and gladden us with the celebration of the blessed martyr Stephen through Christ our Lord. Amen. So once again, brothers and sisters, thank you very much for coming over to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. Uh, sana po ay pagpatuloy nating ipagdasal ang isa't isa at makakaasa rin po, po kayo na lagi kayong kasama at inaalala namin sa aming mga panalangin. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have offered the Holy Eucharist. We go in peace and like St. Stephen, glorify the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. Kung kayo po ay may karamdaman at may nararamdaman sa inyong mga katawan, o di kaya ay kayo nagsasubstitute para sa inyong mga mahal sa buhay na naiwan sa bahay, pa maaari po bang pakilagay ng inyong mga kamay sa inyong dibdib para tanggapin ang tinatawag nating gift of healing from the Lord. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty, Turn with kindness toward us, sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health in accordance to your divine will. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sa mga rosary po at mga religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed, and for those who will use them, made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.